Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly love reading for singles for January 29th through February 4th. I'm saying this is for singles. If couples watch it, so be it. Take what resonates, leave the rest. That goes for singles too. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. Time to have a new objective, a new outlook on things. Stop pretending, stop uh, ignoring something. It's time to accept the truth of something. There's hidden forces here. There's a lot of uncertainty in your life. You're quite uncertain of what's ahead of you. It looks like there's a cycle that needs to end. You may be hanging on to it. Uh, it's t you know, things should be starting to look up if you could just realize, if you were starting, maybe you're starting to realize that there's other options. It really feels like maybe you're realizing the truth, okay? You're starting to, you know, have faith that you know what is right. You know, you're starting to have more faith. Maybe you are starting to be more objective and accept the truth. You know, now you're starting to realize I need to be happy. I, I don't need to fight for something that doesn't make me happy. Yeah, I think many of you are coming out of some darkness here. Starting to celebrate again. Maybe you're starting to be happy. New chapter. You're starting a new chapter. Beautiful. You guys are, it looks like you guys are deciding that, you know, it's time for me to release this. I'm ready to be happy again. That's what I see. It's like you're, and I'm getting the chills now. And this is the first uh, general reading that I've had chills in. I'm getting the chills throughout my arms, my upper half. You guys are really starting to uh, understand that it, that whatever has ended was meant to be. Congratulations. I love it. It's like, I'm no longer going to be controlled by this whatever it was it's like somebody came into your life and you were obsessed with it i see an obsession here it's like you were obsessed with it but i'm not going to be obsessed with it anymore i i really am starting to realize that this wasn't meant for me and i need to take back control of my life and bring structure back you're letting a cycle end that's what it looks like to me i mean there's a lot of release here i'm releasing because i'm going to be happy i love it i love it and it's funny, my candle just released. I don't know if you saw it over there. It happened at the same time. The candle's like releasing over there. That's fucking amazing. Excuse my language. Um, but you gotta watch. I mean, listen to every sign during a reading. Um, and I get this stuff off, so don't worry about it. It comes right off. But um, you guys are really starting to feel happy again. It's like you're seeing the light. Congratulations. I see a new beginning here because you guys are following your inner guide. You're really listening. You're listening to your intuition. <coughs> There's like no secrets at this time. You're thinking very clearly. Um, and because you're doing that, it looks like there's love. You know, it looks like there's love for you coming in perhaps. There is. Because you guys are loving yourself more. There's probably a soulmate connection here for you. New love could come in because you guys are doing what you need to do. You're listening to yourselves. You are creating whoever you want to be. It's like this manifestation here. I love it. You're following your intuition. It's really working out for you. Look at the happiness. Oh my God. I see happiness, Leo. Oh, you could have an unexpected choice in love. Somebody new could come into your life. This is the lover's card because of all the work you've done. I feel like you guys are loving yourself so much and it's really paying off. There's an unexpected choice in love. You might have a choice between two people, somebody from your past and somebody new. I feel like you, the person that's coming in is a Pisces uh, Cancer or Scorpio, but they bring a lot of happiness and look at this is you and it's underneath Pisces Cancer Scorpio So, you know, I really feel or it could be a Gemini But I'm really thinking it's a water sign that could come into your life unexpectedly And usually when the lovers card comes out in a reading, it's not who you think it is Okay, just want to throw that out there because if somebody you if some of you are probably thinking. Oh, yeah It's this person. It's this person. No, no, no 
the lover's card comes out to say it's unexpected. It's somebody that you didn't think it was. Okay, and it's because you guys are letting go. You're letting go of the past. You're letting go of something go. You've been through some struggles and now you're letting it go. It is the Ten of Wands reversed. You have. You've let something go. And it's bringing you something new. I love it. It's like there's no second chances. So if you, because this is the uh, uh, justice reversed, a uh, justice, car, judgment reversed. There's no second chances. There's no going back. You're shedding the past because there's something new. So if you're dealing with two people, which I believe you are, many of you are dealing with, you're still holding on to somebody that, or a little tiny bit, not much, because I see you've released. Um, there's somebody in your past that has caused you some hurt, and now you're going through your awakening and letting them go. And because you are, there's there's new love here. And that's what I see. It looks really, really good. Um, becoming, you guys are, are letting the past die. Just letting it go. And realizing that the future is so bright. And because you've changed your thoughts, you've changed your mind, your ships are going to come in. I love it. And I think it's because a past commitment didn't work out. And we already know this. This is what I see. Something didn't work out in the past. It, or something isn't working out. And you're letting it go. So new love will come in. And that's what I see. I feel like new love is coming in. And it's really going to open your eyes. But I feel like you might just, you might stall a little bit. Think, don't think too much about it, okay? This Nine of Pentacles reverse tells me there's some ungratefulness here. Somebody that doesn't quite feel confident enough about themselves. So remember I just said, don't, don't overanalyze it. When this person comes into your life, realize that you're worthy, okay? Because that's what I see. It's like somebody new is is probably trying to come into your life or thinking about it, but your lack of confidence, your lack of unworthiness, your lack of love for yourself could, 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 could um, be a problem. Now, this right here is, I think you were dealing with somebody that was very materialistic, very conceited, somebody that was ruthless and only with you for your money, perhaps. <laughs> And that needed to fall apart or it needs to fall apart because this is a false foundation. So I think many of you were or are involved with something that is not good for you. And as soon as, and you're going to be faced with a decision. Do you move forward or do you, or do you stay there? And look at the face here. I just noticed that face. Uh, you're dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn in your life, somewhere in your life that is impacting your commitment okay they're impacting your future commitment and i think you do have a choice between two people i think you have a choice between um somebody that you're either with now or you're getting over and somebody new and that's why that lover's card is here it said hey 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 really be prepared to live with the consequences of your choice many of you are in a commitment now that doesn't serve you and even if you're, and I say this is a singles reading, but I know couples are going to watch it too. And maybe if you're separated, you're still committed to somebody from the past. But the majority of you have released, okay? Because I really see that. There's been a huge release here, and which brings so much happiness. So there's, there's two scenarios here. If you've released, happiness is coming fast. If you haven't released, then you need to release just so this love can come in. But I think this love is going to come in anyway. Because this is a upheaval that needs to happen. Because I think you're dealing with a third party situation or you were. Now we have these three. We have the three of pentacles which says shields. We have the three of wands. And underneath here we have the three of cups. There's a third party situation here that you, you know, you need to make a choice. Do you want to be a part of this or not? You're, you're losing sleep over it. Put it that way. And it's, you know, it's time to release, but you're not. Some of you have, some of you haven't. This is the death card. Release is going to be the title of this, this reading because that's what's needed. Um, some of you have, some of you haven't. But once you do, 
that's when love is going to be fulfilled. Seriously. I see a fulfillment of love here. But you need to let something end to get there. You need to realize that there's a new door for you. And until you let something end, that door is not going to open. Then that's exactly what it is. That's why there's two scenarios. This is a new path, but it's reversed. You, there's a dead end in one area of your life. And as soon as you realize that it's a dead end, this new beginning will start. You have a choice between two people. One's a person from your past and one is brand new. This new person is not your usual type and you have a chance for a, a commitment with this person. But you have to stand up for yourself right now. Okay, that's what needs to happen. And if you don't stand up for yourself, then yeah, you'll live with wherever you're at right now. And then you won't, you know, if you're not happy and you don't stand up for yourself right now, um, then that's where you're going to live. I feel like you feel like you're being attacked right now. It feels like you're being, you feel like you're being judged. You're being criticized. You're unhappy. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, it's time to go down that new path. It really is. And many of you are because there's so much happy happiness here. So I'd say 50-50. 50% of you are have released and you're headed down a new path and new love is coming into your life. For the other 50%, you're still attached to something that doesn't serve you. And the tower is here to, that keeps poking you, poking you, poking you, trying to get you to release something so that this new love can come in. You're definitely dealing with another earth sign that is um, hindering your progress, put it that way. And it's like you have a lack of ambition at this time. A lack of ambition, a lack of creativity, a lack of energy <coughs> because of this person. So whoever this earth sign is that's in your life, that's bringing you down, it's time for you to release it. Just release this whole circumstance. Because it's over. The Ten of Swords, it's over. It's time to pull the swords out of your back and stand up and move on. It's time for a new start. You need to have faith in the future. Okay? And come out of the dark. So many of you have, a lot of you haven't. Okay? It's time for you to come out of the dark because there's a chance for new love here. I would head in the new direction because the past doesn't serve you, especially with the Tower card. So I hope that answers whatever question you had. Have faith in your future. It looks really bright with a lot of happiness. I would move forward with faith and trust. Do not look back. Whoever this person is that you are tied to, that you are still hanging on to by a thread perhaps, or that you've just released, you've made the right decision. Because you have a new sexual partner. You have a new partner right in front of you. Okay? It's time for new growth. Let it happen. I'm getting you an advice card. Interesting. Energy work. Life can be electrifying because its very essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients. You are activated to heal yourself, others. Use that energy wisely. Have faith and trust that your future is bright. I see a lot of happiness for you. If you still need to release something, do it. Do it. And new love will come in. I see a lot of happiness here. Leo, this is what I have for you. 